new model. So far we learned about classical account model. Now I am going to show you the how to create new model. So what was the difference between classical model and account new model? Okay, recommended. So the new model is a structure enriches the modeling experience. That's to you know thanks to its incredible, uh, sorry, increased flexibility and improved data management. Okay, I don't want to read all these things, but uh, you know when you go here, it is giving a very useful information. If you go to learn more and click on this you know icon, detach icon, then it will be open on a separate Chrome window. But definitely I suggest you to go to this one and read once, you know, or this one. It is very useful. Okay. It is clearly telling, you know, what is new model and what is the, you know, classical difference between the old model and the classical model, account based classical model. If you see here, so what is happening? Uh, a new model type is available in SAP Analytics Analytics Code. Okay, this is fine. Let's you let's you create create models with the model with the fundamental exception structure based icon based model. Okay, so this is all don't required. Um, means I'm not interested now. But uh, let me tell you. Okay, measures in classical account model measures in new model type. So these are the two things. In a classical account model, model values are stored in a single default measure. This is important. So uh, till now what we learned is a classical account model. So in that what happened, the model values means, uh, you know, key figure values are stored in a single default measure means signed data, which I shown you as a signed data or measures key figure. And you use the account model structure to add calculations specifying units, account hierarchy and all. So if we see here what he exactly he is talking about is we have a single measure and we have an account dimension where we are specifying the key figure information, what kind of measure it is. Okay. So and measures in the new model type. So what is, what is happening in the new model type the new the new model type exposes measures as a single entities so what it means is so if you see this example here account dimension and corresponding signed data okay but when coming to the new model here it is simply like our tabular format you know how we have data if we have a two dimensional dso in the same way you can see it means multiple key multiple columns will be available for each kpi in the classical account model, you have account dimension. There, you are mentioning each and every KPI information. But in the new in the new model, what we can do, we can you know add key figures as single dimensions. Okay, no need of any account dimension to be created in our model. So that is the new you know new feature that is available in the new model. You see discounts, there is a one separate column, gross sales separate column, quantity. But when compared to classical, uh, everything is involved in the only one account dimension. That's what he is showing in a clear representation here. This is the classical account model and this is new model. But one more important point to remember is in the new model also, you can create account dimension. It's purely based upon your requirement. It means uh, to make it simple. To make this you know uh, statement very easy classical model this is one option and the other option is a new model in the new uh, in the classical account model you must have account dimension to differentiate kpis but in the new model you don't need account dimension you can create uh, multiple key figures as a sing single dimensions at the same time if you wish to create account based modeling also you can do it okay so a new model can be acted as both classical and as a new model with multiple key figures multiple measures i can say so both ways it can act as per your requirement or as per your design that's what he is trying to say here okay so benefits of models with measures so what is the benefit of models with the measures? It means it is talking in this way. So if we have models with these measures, you know, it is easy to perform aggregations and all. So go through these points. It will be helpful you know, if you want more information out of it. Okay. 
so if you go a little bit down here also they explained very clearly choosing a model configuration it means when you're creating a model now how you are going to choose whether you need a model with account dimension or a model without account dimension so if you ask me like to make it simple so if you are loading planning data then go for a model with account dimension and if you are loading a transactional data which is not any financial data financial data then go for uh, model without account dimension that's what to make it very simple you know you can uh, take this as a input okay if you want to create any financial model or a model with the planning uh, fl um, functionalities uh, then go for account model as uh, a model with account uh, based modeling if not uh, go for simply with multiple dimensions now what we are going to do to create so we are going we are going to create a new model now select so in the new model it is you see in the new model now i have one tab for dimensions i have another tab for measures because uh, here i don't want to go for account based modeling now go to settings uh, currently it is showing planning model but i don't want planning now so i'm going to settings i'm going to planning options and removing this planning functionality click on ok then what happened this version dimension gone from here ok so next thing is now dimensions and measures so coming to the dimensions now i try to create same kind of you know structure so what is my same kind of structure means i am going to upload same data with multiple dimensions so first one is doc underscore number at doc underscore num generic dimension and i already have one date dimension and i need one material dimension so i don't want to create material dimension so i am going to go for you know existing uh, generic dimension ds material when coming to material dimension i am using the existing public dimension here okay i am done with here so coming to here what is i am going to do i want two measures one is quantity quantity and the quantity data type is decimal of length 7 aggregation type is summation and when i am uploading when i am uploading this you know file when uploading this file the quantity is a unit dimension uh, sorry uh, quantity is a kpi with unit uh, yeah with unit so in this scenario what i need to do aggregation type summation exception aggregation i don't need anything units and currencies so this is your quantity dimension contains any unit or not yes it contains unit okay if it contains unit what was the fixed unit or you know what was the dimension which represents this unit okay so to make it as of now let's make it no none as of now later let's change so by because currently i don't have any unit here now what i am going to create is i am going to create a new dimension here which represents unit okay make it generic now come to your quantity dimension now go summary here for unit type as unit is it fixed unit no uh, here one second required dimensions let's add required dimensions unit one second why it is not coming here uh, let me decimal let me go one second okay something uh, i'm missing here so as of now i'm not taking unit eh? so let me take it's a blank unit okay i will uh, let let you know about this unit and currencies uh, in the next video so formatting scale is none i don't want any scaling factor here and decimals i want to show it as three so like this i created one measure in the same way now what i am going to do is i am going to create one more one more measure for amount okay so amount description is amount and let me give you know technical name in capital letters 
data type is decimal and the decimal places i want only two decimals <laughs> aggregation type you know i want to give summation required dimensions i don't have anything unit and dimensions you know i don't want to keep any units and currencies as of now so for milling scaling factor in places you know formatting two okay so like this i created two measures here and remaining all are the dimensions here okay and uh, for unit also i created one unit extra field but i think uh, yeah we will talk about unit in the later you know recordings i am done with creating my model dimensions and measures now i am clicking on model properties in the model properties just nothing is there already defined everything click on save so when you click on save it is asking you know the model name so now what i am going to create is sales data four i am giving sales data four and click on save now it's creating a model okay after creating a model what we are going to do after creating a model we are going to load this file into that model okay so for that requirement let's create one new excel sheet here and in this excel sheet let's uh, copy the same data save here and then save as now i am saving it as a csv comma delimited i am giving this a file name as sales data 3 okay click on save now that's it now go to your uh, you know model so model was created successfully now our target is not to, to the data management and uploading data into this model so same thing we are going to do we are impo importing a file into it so i am selecting my file name sales data 3 open and then it is a first row is header row csv comma delimited click on ok so you know sales data 3 has been loaded so loading of data into cloud database was completed okay now after loading data by selecting on this one now what you are going to do you are going to perform transformation oh it is still doing something that's why mm, start imported now click on this uh, So when I click on setup import, what happened? It opened the file data. Okay. Here I am defining document number. It's fine. But you see document number here you see 22, which is nothing but it is not a characteristic field. It is considering this document number as a, you know, different kind of field. So go here. Second. okay so by clicking on this one by going to, so initially here it i am seeing overview of the file okay when i click on the file and then go to the second you know second uh, each dimension properties system based upon the data set system considering this field as a integer number but we know document number is not an integer it is a characteristic field so we need to change this to string type okay so I changed this to string type. You see, then it got changed to AA. And the date field, system considering as a date, so which is okay, fine. Material based upon the data type string, fine. Quantity, yeah, it is an integer. Do, because there are no decimals here, system considering this as an integer field. But in future, you want to load decimals into it, then you must change this property from integer to decimal. Okay, so number format, like you can see. Okay, number format, conversion format. So this is the conversion format. It is what it is saying. Okay, uh, means uh, decimal separator is point and the uh, you know thousand separator is comma. And coming to unit, yeah, based upon the text, it is considering this as a, this one only. This is fine. Mm. One second.
date so created on is nothing but uh, in this number remaining all the technical names are matching but for you know for date dimension the technical name from the file is not matching with you know what we have in the model that's why system is not able to identify which is to be mapped to date so that's the reason it is a drop a column asking so from source created on is the file which is mapped to date so created on was successfully mapped to date no done so we are good here okay so what next click on next so what is name? public dimension are excluded from the list below to update their members and properties that is fine okay so document number document number this is the from the source member id description in it so this is all not required But 16 we have changes. That's it. Save and exit. Run import. Run import. What will happen? Uh, it will import data into our target. So currently, what happened? Currently, our file is still in the import job only. Okay. Now, what will happening? Uh, imported jobs. Okay. Now go to the model structure. One second yeah so in this you know we, I am clicking on run import okay you are about to create your model with the following entities uh, import method update to uh, reverse sign account by off uh, dimension enabled finish okay now you see we have data now available in our model okay so now exactly where we exactly lost here in when we are doing this one is when i go to data management earlier okay after this came for example let me show you one one small time uh, i went to here we went to file section okay and we selected our file we selected our file and everything is fine here i am clicking on import So when we click on import button what happened now file came into our cloud database means whatever data is there on the file it was loaded to our cloud but it was loaded to cloud but it was not yet imported to our model this is very important okay before importing it is to model we need to set up like transformations we need to provide proper transformation settings of the model so for that we went to set up import okay in the setup import we need to ident you need to map identify the columns from the source into the dim, uh, dimensions in the model okay so what we did initially the based upon the data coming from the flat file system wrongly assuming the data type of our uh, data type of our columns so what we did we corrected our data type so for example document number we change it to string type and created on yeah this is date fine material fine quantity also it is considering as an integer then we said no no this is not an integer this is of number type with a decimal factor and the unit is pc this is also fine and what else is pending here Uh, here yes, there is one scroll bar right to come to right hand side there is an amount field so amount also because of no decimals system considering it as a integer then i said this is not an integer number type then you know we have this is the number format after doing this you know we have next button so here there are four stages are there prepare data yeah we are done the preparation of data then map to target so now once you identify the data types properly of our file structure then we are mapping you know in the transformation how we do mapping from source to target in the same way we need to do this one so if you see here unmapped mapped already all our document numbers you can see aa document number from the source was mapped to 
target document number in the our model material from the source mapper to material dimension to our model like this mapping already done okay but uh, when coming to this uh, date one this is not done why happened what happened is uh, in our file we have created on column name and in the target uh, means uh, in our model which we created in the SSC we given the name as a date because of the technical name difference system not able to identify the proper uh, column so we uh, for this kind of one we need to do manual mapping so I am done this one so there are no unmapped fields so we are done with the second stage of map to target so the fourth one is map properties okay so in the map properties what we need to do uh, we need to check everything is okay or not public dimensions are excluded map properties means nothing but for example um, how to say this one mm. properties means for example if there are any text fields you know text fields available here for any of these things not those text fields we can do it here public dimensions are excluded from the list below to update their members and properties manage your import directly in the public dimension so whatever dimensions you know you for example any extra column which is not a master data or a public dimension one for those if you want to update descriptions maybe you can use this one okay so let's uh, ignore this part this part as of now we can discuss it later with an example now final thing is review import in the review import it is finally checking the data coming from the file uh, with the properties of our model if any incons inconsistency found system will alert here so if all the data was properly able to load into the target then system say data successfully validated no issues found then if you click on now run import then what will happen it will import the data from the file to our uh, model means here it is not again fetching data from our file but whatever draftly you know uh, buffer place where it stored our file information it will be moved from buffer into our model okay na? so this what uh, happened in our um, case so after all the validations completed finally our data got moved into our target hmm? so that's what you can see here you see all different steps hmm? finally when we run import data will be loaded into our room so whatever second time i loaded i am deleting this one we don't need anymore so once data got loaded to model now we can go to model structure and when going to this uh, you know data foundation view in the data foundation view you can clearly see the loaded data okay so now this is how to create a model uh, by using a new way mm, new way without account dimension this is a model with analytical model that to without account dimension and having multiple key figures okay once model is ready then the next part is story part which we will cover in the later scenario okay uh, let me stop recording here